The main thing that made the new WR series windrower unique was that we started with a clean sheet of paper. It had been a long time since Heston had done that with their, their self-propelled windrower. On this one, we literally started with a clean sheet of paper and we could design everything from the ground up. I would best describe the sophistication of the new WR series as really pushing the limits for what has been done up to this point. We're, we're stepping out in a lot of new areas, adding a lot of control capabilities and putting that capability in the operator's hands. We've built the groundwork uh, for a, a really responsive machine, but yet it's easy to operate. The technology on the new WR series windrower um, is really going to set the bar for the industry because of the level of control that it allows us to, to have with this machine. But at the same time, we're not limited in many cases in what we can do. Through software and electronics, we have a lot of ability to go from here. This isn't the end, this is just the beginning. Uh, electronically controlled hydraulics are something that have started to come into other industries. Up until this point, they've never been used on a self-propelled windrower. The main thing that sets the WR series windrower apart from the competition is the, the level of technology that it uses. Um, it has the, the electro-hydraulic steering system that's variable ratio and selectable by the operator for what he's most comfortable with. The electronically controlled hydraulics provide us a lot of ability to control the machine uh, very finely. They provide the ability to change pump displacements, motor displacements, and very small increments to get exactly the response that we want. With the virtual terminal, we've spent a lot of time not only using it ourselves, our field test technicians, engineers, but also uh, cooperators, people that we, we run the machines with, and using their feedback and just common sense to decide how it should be laid out, uh, what kind of information should be there and how it should be presented uh, with the goal of being very user friendly. I think uh, navigating through the terminal is very intuitive. There is, as with anything, a learning curve to it, but we've tried to present the information in a way that's very easy to learn. When we were developing the virtual terminal screens, we really tried to put ourselves in the customer's seat. We understand that a lot of the, the operators of our products are maybe kind of intimidated by a lot of technology, and so we wanted to offer the technology but keep it simple enough so that the, the same machine could appeal to an owner-operator that might like all the technology, the bells and whistles, but at the same time be easy to use for, for somebody who doesn't find that to be as natural. This uh, auto steering system on the new uh, WR series windrower is fully integrated into the machine. What that means is that there's no mechanical connections between the uh, guidance unit and the machine. It all takes place electronically. So there's no steering wheel mounted motor. There's no integrated motor steering wheel, anything like that. You bolt on the GPS receiver, uh, connect it to the wiring harness on the machine. Uh, mount your monitor and things like that and you're ready to go. We found that field speeds with the, the auto steering system can basically you can auto steer at the maximum field speeds of the windrower which is uh, up to 15 to 16 miles per hour. One of the things that we do in engineering is we, we do make a lot of trips to the field and uh, we work with our field test technicians as well as the the end users, the, the customers that we've that we cooperate with in our field testing. To me, that's extremely important. You, you know, to talk to the producers, find out what they're looking for, um, what they like about your current uh, product, what what they'd like to see differently. Uh, their input is invaluable. One of the big things that makes Heston Engineering unique in the industry is that we have not only the engineering but also the, the prototype shop and also the production facilities all on the same campus. It's very easy for the engineer to interact with the shop personnel that are building the prototypes. We interact well with our field test technicians. They're an integral part of the design team. And then working with production um, on the production floor was something that's unique in the industry.